A cheerful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17:22. Hi, this is Robin again. I want to tell you more about my journey with parotid gland cancer. This video, I'm going to tell you about my um, the beginning parts or phases of getting started with radiation therapy here at MD Anderson. So my husband and I came out to Houston. Uh, we got set up in a temporary leased, uh, corporate leased apartment, um, and then we, I started having some appointments at MD Anderson. One of my first appointments was to have a mouse splint made so that every time I went to my therapy session, my mouth was open the same amount, and I had as much protection inside my mouth, like the tongue, for example, as possible. So I went, and they um, made uh, had a big thing of kind of warm wax that, that they stuck in and molded around my teeth. And then once it hardened, they removed it and sent it off. The next day I came back and um, they put it in. It's, an, it's a large splint. It feels very large, especially when you're coming off of, of facial surgery. Um, you, you, what, you get it in your mouth and it causes you to pull, for me, it, it pulls my tongue to the other side, which gives it more protection. Um, so once they decide that that, and I decide that that's a good fit, they take it out and they polish it up, and then you take it to your radiology oncologist. The other process is one where they want to make a, a form uh, underneath and on top of your, from your shoulders up, so that when you lay on the table, you're in the same exact position every time. So on Monday, when I went, uh, I met a guy who uh, was very cool. He actually invented this process here at MD Anderson. So he had a frame, uh, a kind of a, a box, and it had an outline of a head and shoulder. And he put this kind of soft, gooey, foamy material in it. And then he laid and placed me on the table, and then he pushed the foam uh, up against and around my shoulders and around my head all the way up and I laid there for a few minutes until it dried then I lift it up and he sent it off to have it kind of cut down all the extra side pieces and when it was finished it lays on the table and then I lay my head exactly in the same position he wants me to be in every time all the way down my neck and to the top of my shoulders. So the next day, I went in for the top portion of the um, form, and it's um, a weird process. Uh, they showed me the end result, which is um, more like a, a white diamond-shaped fencing or mesh that goes over your head and your neck and obviously you know you, you you get from it that you can breathe so he they take this it starts off with a big large sheet that's kind of um, a yellow and it's it looks very opaque and it's warm so I'm back on the phone backing and they lay this across my face and you would think that you couldn't breathe but you can immediately and they start placing it and pushing it against my neck, my nose, my eyes, and my ears to, to totally cover. And then I lay there until it dries. And then they remove it. And then once you come back, it, it becomes that white, fancy-looking mesh um, top piece. So how it works is you will, I will have my phone backing. I'll be placed into it on the table. I'll put in my mouthpiece, which will put my mouth in the same position every time and, again, protect as much of my mouth uh, from the inside as possible. And then they will take the white form, mesh form, that's hardened, and snap it down. And then I will go into a CT machine where they will deliver the radiation exactly the way they want to. 
and um, that's how it's done. And it's not a long process. There's no smells or no sounds. The only thing, the only kind of direction that I will be given during the radiation therapy will be when uh, a little uh, sweet female voice comes over and says, stop swallowing now. That lasts about five or eight seconds. And then, of course, you can swallow. But there is never a moment where they say, hold your breath. So it's, uh, they've made it as comfortable as they can, which is really not uncomfortable at all. Um, the only negative, real negative thing that has happened is that my doctors here wanted me to be on uh, the proton therapy. And my insurance originally said I was approved. We came on out. And then we found out uh, fairly quickly that as it went on up the insurance chain of command, it got denied. So my doctors worked uh, tirelessly talking on the phone several times. They even submitted a 90-page appeal on my behalf to have the insurance company cover the proton therapy. But we heard uh, just the other day that we finally got their final denial. So my therapy will start tomorrow, which is Monday, tw February 24th, and that then I will start uh, a daily video upfeed uh, about the daily radiation treatment and any symptoms that I might be managing. Now I want to add in here um, that you know while this might be a big inconvenience and not so much fun to look forward to. You know, as in anything that can happen to people, if you look for a silver lining, there's usually one there. So I cannot even begin to list all of the silver linings that I've, that I've been able to find and see, but they all have to do with people and love. And um, the ama amazing amount of love that has been shown to me and my family has just been almost at times really overwhelming, but in such a good way. I have so much support from my family and my friends. Um, I think there's the phrase or the word family that we're using now. So I will start including uh, the silver linings for each day. So goodbye for now. I'll see you in the sunny papers.